three point charges Q minus two Q and two Q are placed on the axis at a distance x equals to zero, x equals to three by four R and x equals to R. So here you can see this is charge Q, this is charge minus two Q and two Q. The same arrangement I have done here. Now from origin here Q, the value of Q here in each term is two into ten raised to minus six coulomb. That is two micro coulomb. And the value of R for each term is two centimeter. The magnitude of net force experienced by the charge minus 2q. What is the net force experienced by this charge? We have to find. Now see the charge at A and the charge at C are positive, whereas the charge at B, which is minus 2q, is negative. So this two positive charge will attract this negative charge. So the force on charge B, that is minus 2q charge, right, is towards left, right, due to charge A. And force on B due to charge C is towards right. Means the two forces are in opposite direction. Means if I have one charge here, it is getting pulled in this direction and pulled in this direction. The angle is 180. If this is F1, this is F2, then I can directly subtract F1 minus F2 because the angle is 180. So force on B by A, force on B by A, which is at a distance 3 by 4 R. So F B A is equals to K Q1. So it is Q then Q2. It is 2q divided by the distance, it is 3 by 4r, so 3 by 4r whole square. If you solve this, you will get 32 kq square by 9r square because 3 3s are 9. This 4 will go up, so it is 4 4s are 16, and here it is 2, so it is 32 kq square by 9r square. Similarly, the force on B by C is in this direction, so it is k then q1, it is 2q, then it is 2q, so it is uh, k into 2q into 2q, and the distance between these two is r by 4. Right, so here it is r by 4 square. Again, here two twos are four, and here it is four square is 16. 16 uh, will go up. So then 16 four za is 64. So it is 64 kq square by r square. As these two uh, forces are in opposite direction, the angle is 180. We can directly subtract them. So force on B is equals to force on B by C minus force on B by A. So here, force on B by C is 64 kq square by r square, and force on B by A is 32 by 9 kq square by r square. So it is 64 minus 32 by 9 into kq square by r square. See kq square by r square. I have taken common. Now you just multiply. It is 64 into 9. I am taking LCM or cross multiplication. Minus 32 by 9. If you solve this, you will get 544 kq square by 9 r square. So 544 value of k is 9 into 10 raised to 9. The value of q, which is 2 micro coulomb, which is given, and is square, and 9, and the value of r is given 2 centimeter. That is 2 into 10 raised to minus 2. If you solve this, you will get 5440 newton.